Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Let's go for a walk. Oh, you stupid dog. I don't have a pooper scooper. Welcome to the Bio News Channel 4. My name is Emily Humphrey. And my name is Kimmy McGrady. Today we are investigating the recent discovery of Ascaris lumbricordis, a human round worm found in a crocodile teen. It is the in an animal kingdom in the phylum nematodes and is ruining the life of this particular teen. The roundworm is a parasite that is estimated to infect over 1 billion people worldwide, and one of Crawfordsville's own is unlucky enough to be a victim. Luke Mangold, a 17-year-old from right here in Montgomery County, said he was walking his dog last weekend when his dog did what dogs do. Mangold, being without a pooper scooper, was forced to pick up the fecal matter with his bare hands. The rest is history. We sent our traveling reporter, Callie Saunders, to the home of Luke Mangold to investigate this parasite and provide our viewers with some information on Ascaris lumbricoides. Let's take it over to Callie. Thank you, Emily. Hello. As Cami said, I am here in the home of Luke Mangold, a patient who is extremely ill with the parasite Ascaris lumbricoides. We are here today to talk a little bit about Luke's symptoms and find out about this worm inside of him. Luke, will you please tell us a little bit about your symptoms? I, um, I've been puking nonstop for about five days. I have severe abdominal pain. <laughs> <coughs> and a temperature of 108. How painful and disgusting. So this all started when? After you came into contact with your dog's fecal matter? Uh, yes. Um, my doctor said that it's common in puppies, but... Dogs come immune to it within like the first three months, and I caught this after coming in, talk in, in contact with my dog's fecal matter. I am so sorry. Prior to this visit, my team and I did some research on this parasite, Ascaris lumbricoides. We discovered that the parasite is most commonly found in the form of a roundworm, and it reproduces sexually. Its nervous system is made up of two nerve cords that transmit impulses, and it moves through a contraction of longitudinal muscles. Roundworms have a tube digestive system, meaning that food flows in one direction. It enters into a sac, digestion takes place, and waste is eliminated through the same opening. So, unlike our friend Luke right now, food is coming in one end and going out the other. I think it's in the best interest of everyone that we give Luke some privacy, so let's take it back to the newsroom with Cammie and Emily. <coughs> Thanks, Callie. Roundworms can live almost anywhere and grow up to 20 inches long. Good hygiene and hand washing is important to reduce the risk of infection. Also, it is good to not pick up your dog poop with your bare hands. Thank you for tuning in to today's broadcast of Bio News 4. We know it's a bit of a scarce subject. <laughs> <laughs>